There are two envelope generators on phenol. They are probably the most sophisticated section of the synthesizer because they have a lot of different modes that can be used for various purposes. The envelope generators on phenol have three modes. Attack, hold, release mode, attack, release mode, and oscillator mode. These can make all different kinds of modulation shapes that are useful for starting and stopping notes, sweeping filters, making percussive sounds, and as a source of low frequency oscillations. Let's use the envelope output to control the pitch of an oscillator. In attack release mode, the pitch rises and falls no matter how long the gate is held. In attack hold release mode, the output ramps up and stays at the top as long as the gate is held. When the gate is released, the output goes back down to the bottom. In both of these modes, the uptime and downtime speeds can be set separately. In oscillator mode, instead of uptime and downtime, the first two controls affect the frequency or speed and the level of the output. The third control has three modes that are set by the second button. These modes work both in oscillator and envelope modes. Right now we're hearing steps mode, which quantizes the output to evenly spaced steps. The number of steps is set by the third control. Another mode for the third control is called gate delay mode. In gate delay mode, a gate input will be delayed before taking effect in the module. This allows you to have one envelope generator trigger right away and the other one trigger after a time delay. For instance, to cause a filter sweep after a note is playing or to cause a modulation to start once a note is playing. The third mode for the third control is called Scale Quantize Mode. In this mode, instead of quantizing to evenly spaced steps, as in Steps Mode, the output will be quantized to musical scales or arpeggios. The third button controls the output type. The outputs can be normal, inverted, or absolute value. In normal mode, the output is at the lowest voltage when the envelope or oscillator is not running. When the envelope is triggered, the output ramps up to the highest voltage and then back down. In inverted mode, the output stays at the highest voltage when the envelope or oscillator is not running, and then goes to the lowest voltage when it's triggered. In absolute value mode, the output normally stays at zero volts in the middle of the output range and only goes positive when it is triggered.
Absolute value mode is useful for making gated trills and other effects with the oscillator. The envelope generator also has a speed control input which can be used to scale the up and down times or the oscillation frequency.